Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your January 2021 messages from Spirit Reading for the sign of Capricorn. So I hope you're well and let's get straight into your reading and pull your first Spirit Message card. So what do we have for Capricorn please, Angel Spirits Guides? Okay, thank you. Oh, I love this card. So we have serenity. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. You see, I love the fact, I mean, this person feels like they're, you know, the water is filling up, they're sinking. And then they find that inner light, you know, and the water begins to recede because they take control of their internal energy on how the external environment affects them internally. You know, it is a card of regrouping, reconnecting to your core, who you are. You know, it's very beautiful indeed. Okay, what do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides, for our lovely Capricorn? Now, the message can be something big or small, can be something specific, can just be advice as well, Capricorn, remember that. Okay, so we have number 34, Spirit Messages, Observe Limitations. Observe Limitations. So this can be about how you might be self-limiting, um, can be about, you know, barriers. Might well be, you know, how, again, the external environment, you're allowing it to affect you internally. You know, it's that kind of energy of greater self-awareness, isn't it, that's needed, yeah. Okay, and reconnection to self. Okay, Capricorn, so let's pull three cards. The first card is the issue or challenge you need help from Spirit on in January 2021. Second card is advice from Spirit. Third card is the outcome, should you take the advice? And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, as usual. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message from Spirit that Capricorn needs to hear, please? Thank you. Page of Swords is your challenge. Three of Swords is advice from Spirit. Oh my goodness, the Fool. Liberating energy. It's interesting that we're talking about limitations because this Three of Swords is a limiting card. Okay. Let's clarify these cards and go deeper into the message, please. Angel Spirits Guides for Capricorn, thank you. What do we have for Capricorn, thank you, Angel Spirits Guides? Thank you, okay. Look at that. Sun is also a card of liberation. The Death card. Card of Scorpio. And the Fool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you have the big hitters in terms of major arcana here. I mean, I've got the Sun card, the Death card, the Magician, the Fool. And look, we finish off with Capricorn energy and it's Mars in Capricorn in your power. So I love this energy with the Three of Pentacles. That's what you're doing. The message from Spirit, you have an opportunity now. And I'm feeling this very clearly. To... 
see things in a different way. You know, the Page of Swords, for me sometimes, is a card of the Wind of Change card. The Swords being very much connected with our mind, our perspective, our thought patterns, how we see something. Um, and it feels all of a sudden, the challenge, I mean, some, the challenge is to see something in a different light. I mean, this in itself is a liberating energy. It's blowing the clouds of confusion, the fuzziness, you know, that kind of energy away. And it's that crystal clear thinking that is presented as a result of that. And again, it, it feels in terms of how you need to deal with the situation. Because the sun is about you stepping back into your power. It is a card of celebration, joy, happiness, contentment, but also an energy of being enlightened, finding the way or getting clarity in how you need to take action. It feels it to, to overcome some kind of obstacle, barrier, limitation and come through the other side of a situation. But for some of you, you're, I mean, there's an energy of cutting cords, seeing things clearly now or the opportunity to, this is your challenge. Something that may have got you down. There is definitely this, this feel good energy wanting to come in now. And it comes in by getting perspective, seeing things clearly, uh, maybe making some decisions, choices. It, it feels in this situation that the sun is a card of a feel good growth. It's uplifting energy, it's divine light shining on you, lighting the path before you. And the horse represents strength and courage. And the child is a card that is an energy of wisdom because they've learnt something. They've learnt things about themselves. They've learnt things from the situations that they have experienced. And they've learnt things about their own power by coming through this wall, the barrier the challenge, the obstacle, and overcoming it, coming through the other side of it. So there's definitely an energy of, you have an opportunity to overcome something now and feel pretty good about it because the other side of the wall, there is growth, there is abundance, there is success, there is power, you stepping into your power. And this is the energy of that serenity card. You can sink, you know, however we perceive things sometimes, how we let things own us, our internal energy, how we let the external factors dictate to us can determine how we are, you know, in our lives, you know, whether we sink or whether we rise above situations. And for some of you, I definitely feel, you know, you're being told now is the time to rise above a situation Because this, it feels like you're breaking free of barriers, things that have constrained you, either in your energy or your external environment. There's definitely an energy of getting clarity in how to come through the other side of a situation now. But it is your challenge because this is that cloud energy. This is the cloud, the rain, and it's the three of swords, which is a Saturnian energy, it's Saturn in Libra. And I mean, Libra, Libra energy, I mean, it's the house of relationships in whatever setting. So that could be work relationships, it could be personal relationships, it could be family relationships, friendships. But the Three of Swords is a card of emotional pain, something causing you emotional pain. But the message from Spirit is shed an old skin. Because this is for a time for you to be reborn. This is a time for you to be restored in your own light, in your own power. And come through the other side of a situation where it definitely feels like this ending. The acceptance of an ending, the acknowledgement of an ending is needed in order to enable the metamorphosis of who you are. You know, the transformation of moving from the chrysalis to the butterfly, emerging in your power, in your light. You can see the sun is beginning to rise here and it has the potential to be fully risen here in your challenge position. So there's definitely an energy of you have, a, have an opportunity to rise and be restored and come through the other side of a situation. But there needs to be an energy of shed and all skin. There's catharsis, there's purification and transformation with the death card. Once you accept 
the ending of what this represents, the ending or deep change in your circumstances, that's when you can be free of it. And it definitely feels that there is some liberating energy, liberating from the barriers of what this was, the hurt, the pain. This is the Phoenix Rising card. And it's an energy of out with the old, in with the new. The Phoenix actively destroys the old in order to embrace the new. The Magician and the Fool. I mean, these are beautiful energies. So the Magician is... Well, let's start with the Fool. The Fool is a card of a new beginning. The Fool is a liberation energy as well. And it's the card of starting a new path. There is definitely an energy of out with the old, in with the new here, Capricorn. Um, definitely feeling this kind of energy of starting a new path for yourself, a major new chapter, a new beginning, turning the page, call it what you will. And it feels good. The Fool is a card of optimism, a card of anticipation, ready to take a leap of faith, trusting that, you know, everything would be provided by the universe again, this sun shining on your back. So there's a wonderful energy of liberate yourself from situations now because the fool is zero in the major arcana, the magician being one. Um, and the zero, the first and unnumbered card of the major arcana is a, a great energy of anything is possible when you really open your mind, when you really liberate yourselves from the constraints of the past and take leap of faith in a new direction. And for some of you, the magician is saying, well, if the fool is anything is possible, what is it that you want to change in your life? Because now is the time to change it. You have the opportunity to change something negative to positive, an idea to reality, base metal to gold. He says that you have all the resources, the talent, the experience at your disposal, earth, air, fire and water on the table, plus the blessings with the divine light energy, the, the divine energy shining on you, blessing you, asking you to rise once more in your own light and liberate from whatever's gone on here. And the magician is an energy of now is the time to acknowledge your magic and use your own magic to transform your situation for the better and manifest a new reality. Focus upon what you want to change with unwavering faith and knowledge that you have the ability to bring change. And the Three of Pentacles is a lovely energy, Capricorn, because this is you. This is you in your power manifesting something new. Now, Three of Pentacles is very good in terms of money and career, the beginnings of success. It can also be to do with property, even property development or, you know, um, can be doing a property or moving, maybe moving into a new property. Um, can also be a card of teamwork, setting up a new business with people, you know, that kind of energy. Um, but it's somebody who is prioritizing, who is on the ball, who will take advice when it's needed. But ultimately, they, they have the power, the practical skills, knowledge, experience to bring a level to, to form a, a foundational level upon which to build long term success. So there's definitely an energy here of rebuilding. Manifest a new path because you have the opportunity to rebuild something solid, stable, secure, you know, for your future. Nothing is holding you back. The only thing that's holding you back, it feels, is this, is the pain that you've, you've been through, the, the constraints of that. But it feels like for some of you, you're ready to liberate yourself from that in a big way, huge way. I mean, these are big cards. So when the major arcana appears, it is a big shift in terms of out with the old, in with the new, because the new is coming in. So powerful, powerful energy here. Two cards, Capricorn. So we have Panda, Balance. Ask how to bring balance to the situation and into your heart. It's interesting with it being Libra energy, you know, needing to get balance back in your internal energy maybe as well, having been hurt in a situation. And we have the Fox shadow work. There are no shadows without light. And it feels like you are. 
you are going to step into your light. I mean, that's definitely the energy of these cards. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful reading, Capricorn, and big energy. So expect some big shifts. And whatever you're manifesting this month, there is definitely divine energy around you asking you to manifest this new path now. Three of Pentacles is a great energy of the beginnings of success. Like I said, in whatever aspect, it is the beginnings of something, building something solid, stable, secure for your future. Beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful January 2021 Capricorn and I will see you next time. Thank you.